Good morning, we're here at Legacy Flat Roofing and Sheet Metal. We're here in um, the northeast end of London. We're doing a flat roof today and the detailing today is going to be a little different. We, The roof itself doesn't leak, the client didn't call us in because it leaks, it's because it's holding a lot of water. So we're going to shed the roof from the wall side. They have three scuppers over there, so the, the purpose of the job is to get the water off the roof. And right now, he has a lot of water sitting under this deck and it's causing a lot of mosquitoes and different bacteria. Just doesn't want to, doesn't make it enjoyable to settle here. So go ahead and take a look. We have a door detail. We have three scupper details. And again, we are, the, the point is to slope the water away to the scuppers to actually have it drain off the roof. So this deck, uh, it's been put up and taken down and put up before. So right, we're going to remove it all together, put a new flat roofing system and allow him to put a deck whenever he wants. So I'll uh, take you through the job. Take, I'll show you how we start sloping the roof and uh, hopefully you like it. Thanks a lot. Okay, so we removed half the deck, the railing, and the, and the planks here, just to give you an idea how much water is sitting up on this roof. Now, it's pretty good that it's not leaking, but again, this is way too much water to have. Water should be at least evaporated within two to three days if, if it's holding any water at all. This is just a breeding ground for mosquitoes and other bacteria, so the idea, again, to taper this water to the scuppers and have it drain properly when it rains. So, there you go. Thanks. Okay, welcome back. We finished removing the deck, as you can see. We've dried off the roof. Now we're down to just the old uh, single ply membrane. The reason why this roof was holding a lot of water as it was, because this scupper, which is used to drain water off the roof, was sitting too high. It wasn't allowing water to come and drain out. So we've dropped the scupper down by removing the fiberboard underneath, and we may possibly drop it a little more depending on the plywood here. Um, we moved the siding to be able to bring up our membrane flashings up and up properly and if you can tell we've cut some holes in the single ply because right now with the new roof on top it's going to act as a vapor barrier and typically you want your vapor barrier on the warm side of the insulation so right now we've allowed uh, just moisture or any hot air to escape so it doesn't create condensation and condensate in the actual house so there you go we are going to start tapering this roof remember the original problem was we had water upon it so we're going to start tapering this roof putting on a new roofing system and show you what it looks like thanks a lot Okay, welcome back. Actually, what I wanted to do, I'm gonna, um, we're, what we've decided to do is remove uh, much of the roof to eliminate any possibility of condensation with the vapor barrier being on the cold side of the insulation. So take a look. So now that eliminates any possibility of condensation at all. So here we go, we're gonna put on the new roof. Okay, welcome back. We're a couple hours into the job now. Um, we finished sloping the roof th towards the, uh, the scupper. We used half inch uh, fiberboard and we've, we've sloped it causing like one or two layers here, a couple layers there, just give it a, a nice taper. We've uh, taken off the, the aluminum siding so we can properly bring a membrane up and then we're gonna put the cap sheet and put the aluminum, aluminum siding back on. If you don't do this, in the middle of winter, you're gonna have a snow buildup and water's just gonna seep into the house. So I'll show you the, I don't think the camera can pick it up, but we sloped the roof, I don't know if you can see it, and now we put a new scupper in, we moved the old scupper, we got a new scupper in place, connected to the down, down spouts. We have to wrap it with the new aluminum flashing, and away we go. Uh, we primed the roof, we're ready to put some cap sheet. Can I, we gotta get moving, we're losing a bit of daylight on us, so I'll show you what it looks like when the cap sheet's on, thanks. Okay, welcome back, it's been a long day, the job turned out wonderful, I think the clients will be thrilled. We're able to divert the water away from the side of the house and get it to the scupper where it belongs. So go ahead, take a look. Again, even with the cap sheet membrane, we, we layered in a shingle fashion where the seams are all running towards the scupper. So we're able to drop this scupper a good inch and a half and also raise the back of the roof. So that's what's creating our, our slope. We're able to bring our membrane behind the siding here. So in the winter when we got snow pile up here, it all it's waterproof. So there you go. Hope you liked it. Legacy Flat Roof and Sheet Metal, if you're in the southwestern Ontario area, give us a call or you can find us online at LegacyRoofs.com. Thank you so much.